Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode. Today I have an idea and I am currently driving right now to the store. I recently bought a sled for ice fishing, right? Uh, it's a nice outdoor sled. Um, I only paid like 16 bucks for it. And uh, I went out yesterday with Julian and we spent all day on the ice and we didn't get nothing and it was cold. So I thought, hey, I bet I could make an ice house out of this. So that's exactly what we're gonna do today. We're gonna try to build an ice house for as cheap as possible. So I'm thinking under $50 is the target here. Uh, I'm headed to the store right now to get the materials. So uh, I will see you guys when I get back home. I'm back and I got these. Oh, so I end up doing this view a lot, which I don't know why. Um, I have two perfectly good legs that I just decide not to use a lot. But my basic idea is, this bad boy behind me is the sled that I got. These pipes I'm thinking can be the frame for my whole build out thing. I made a, I made plans and everything, so, but who, who uses instructions? So, uh, yeah, um, these are gonna be the elbows used to make giant U-shaped things. And then I got some, some of this white, uh, 10 foot by 12 foot tarp. So that's the plan. Um, So I set down the camera for a little while because it's low battery right now and I can't find the charger So hopefully I'm gonna be able to make it out to the end of this video, but here's my bracketing system So we got a little piece with two bolts here and two holes here now the bolt cross threads through that hole as you can see here It's nice and trimmed up. This one is uh, looking pretty legit so far, but Essentially what we have here is so that all the bars can lay up when I'm when I'm not using it uh, this whole thing flips up so then I can take this kind of like that and then that stands up and there'll be a third one that'll come out at about a 45 degree angle. I copied that idea off a lot of other pop-ups that are sled pop-ups or whatever. I got this one done. I ran out of bolts because I'm going to have to go get some more of those. But once I do, I can continue working on this. So this is day one progress. Pretty good. I have all of the pipes cut and drilled. I have the brackets all done, so it's just waiting for more bolts, and then, yeah, I guess I will see you whenever I pick this camera back up again. Alright everyone, so I ended up not picking up the other phone because I uh, still can't find the charger. Yeah, so basically all I've done now is I got bolts, and I picked up what I think is the last few bits of supplies. I'll probably end up making another trip to the store. Um, but I got more bolts, so you can see it's all done down there and I finished up with the tees. The tees were too small so I had to mill it out with um, that bench press or drill press right there. Um, it was a really tight fit so I gorilla glued the um, EMT conduit piping into the tees. Uh, it's starting to foam up and it looks like it's gonna harden so we're gonna let that dry and hopefully it should be really solid and should be pretty awesome. So now we're gonna focus our attention to this bad boy. Now this is the tarp, as you guys already know, and uh, this is extremely thin. I thought it would be a little bit thicker, but no, I guess 3.5 mil or whatever, what was this? So it was standard duty 3.5 mil. Um, it sucks, it's extremely thin. I'm gonna have to use it though because I just kind of want to see what's going to happen. Um, but it, it should stop wind. Alright, so basically what I've accomplished now is I've attached the tarp to specific spots on the frame. You'll notice uh, right here is the bucket that I'll be sitting on when I want to fold it up. Now, one design flaw that I see is I made this front bar a little short because if I sit down, I have to duck my head to get into it because this bar is extremely low but you'll notice if I just pull on this some more boom oh my gosh what have I created right now this is all temporary okay so don't freak out yet but these main attachments are um, going to be reinforced I'm gonna take a scissors later and then I'm going to cut up here up to this point from the top 
down and I'll attach it somewhere over here. I'll just forget the middle and then I'll do the same on the other side where I cut and I will have that be a main strip. Then I will take these side panels and I will cut them to the general shape of the side and then I will tape that entire seam on both sides with duct tape, white duct tape. It'll basically get rid of all the slack. It'll be way tighter and it'll look much, much nicer. We'll show you the I'm inside of it. So you can see there it folds up all nice and the seat's right here. So I'm going to sit down. I'm going to reach behind me and grab this bar. I'm going to have to duck my head because it's a little tight here. Okay, there we go. So you can see now we are inside. So you can see now I'm inside of it. Um, it's honestly kind of tight a little bit uh, shoulder wide so I should have made it a little bit wider. If you're going to do this on your own, make sure you take that into consideration because this is a little narrow. It's 21 inches from pole here to pole here. So, um, yeah, basically I'll be able to reach back behind me here and I'll be able to grab whatever I need. And then I will be able to fish right there from the hole. The hole will be like somewhere like right there. And then, um, yeah, it's so easy to set up. It's way easier than anything I've ever used when I actually use a legit ice house because you gotta stick bars in here and stuff. And this is just pick it up, fold it over, and you're done. I mean, it's honestly that easy. And it's so small in here, I'm thinking body heat will keep me warm because there's not a whole lot of square footage. I mean, I it's starting to get warm in here already from just me being in it. This is this is pretty cool. I'll get out of it clear quick. And there it is. What happened to the sides? Cut them off. So now I'm gonna make a shape out of this tarp. I'm gonna lay it flat, measure all this, get the dimensions and draw them out on this and then cut it. And then tape the seams uh, with this white uh, uh, duct tape here. And that is to um, basically clean up the edges, make it look really nice, have it fit really tight against the frame so that it's very defined. And uh, yeah, you'll also notice I fixed the bungee thing or whatever, so um, basically I drilled a hole in here and I just zip tied it there and it works pretty good, but I'm going to get a bolt and a washer. Um, I have the washer, I just need two more bolts and uh, then I can just run that down in here, tighten it, and then uh, this isn't going to go anywhere. So you can notice I, I had to eyeball the back so it's a little but it should look just fine in the end. So, I'm gonna get to uh, measuring and then cutting this thing, and uh, yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it is done. Check this. Boom. Grabs it, pulls it. Oh, look at that. What's that? That's a nice house. Is that a giant trash bag? No, it's a nice house for fishing. You noobs. Okay, guys, so um, I got this side attached, got it all taped up. It doesn't look that bad. Like, it kind of looks like a legit ice house, not gonna lie. Let me show you the inside here. So, hold it down here, sit down, and then we'll hold it back up. Here she goes. All right. All right, so we are inside right now, as you can see. Um, everything is working as it should. It's working very nice. Um, plenty of room for a hole here. Got tons of storage in the back here for uh, augers and tackle and uh, pliers and all sorts of stuff. Let me just say it does get warm in here. I was in here um, taping up this inside part here. Uh, it looks like crap, so ignore it. Um, but I was in here taping that up and I was in here for about like three or four minutes or something and uh, I could tell it was getting warmer. It's already holding heat, um, which I didn't think it would do. I thought it would block the wind, but I didn't think it would hold the heat as good as it does. So basically, I'm going to head out tomorrow with Julian and we're going to test this out on the ice for the first time. I am so excited. I am just... This took forever to do, and now that it's done, I can't wait to try it. So I just crunched the numbers, and I just got the total. The sled, all the material to use this, not the bucket, but everything else right here only costed me $37 for a nice house. So tomorrow we're going to find out if those $37 
was a good purchase or if that $37 went to waste. So let's hope that it, it was a good deal. So def definitely gonna be a site for sore eyes. But hey, if it works, it works great. Um, and I don't go ice fishing all that often, but when I do, this is a necessity. All right, everyone, thanks for watching. I'm gonna end the video here um, because uh, this video is already getting long enough. But, uh, so if you guys enjoyed seeing me build this bad boy and you guys wanna see it, be sure to hit that subscribe button, tap that bell notification icon, because I will post a second video of me testing this um, where I actually take it out and I actually try fishing with it. So, so I will be posting uh, future videos of this. I'll probably be doing some upgrades. I'll probably be adding some uh, insulation stuff on the inside to really get it warm and I'll probably be adding like, pouches and windows and stuff. And so if you guys end up making this and you wanna see how to do all that also, be sure to stay tuned to the channel um, because those videos will be dropping soon as well. So, so the mission for today was to go out, build a nice house for as cheap as we could, under $50, which we did, $37, $13 extra to spare. Um, so yeah, uh, I'd say that would be a mission complete.